Venezuela is experiencing a transformation of the workplace. More than 180,000 cooperatives have been registered since 2002, yet many are inactive or have collapsed. The best estimates indicate that at least 50,000 cooperatives are functioning. This is a significant number for the cooperative movement. We visit the rural district of Balavento, which has high poverty and unemployment economic disparity, deterioration of agricultural production and immigration to the cities. We focus on how cooperatives are changing the lives of the people and what are the problems, challenges and successes. Back then, the people worked together on a large piece of land planting corn, black beans, green beans, squash, plantain, bananas, sugarcane. We planted it all. The one who owned the land gave it to those who didn't have anything. But everyone worked together as a community when it was time for harvest. Now nothing is given to anyone. But before it was like that. It was a time when everything was safe and sound. You could walk from here to China, you know by foot on a path overgrown with tall grass and you didn't worry that anyone would frighten you or do harm to you. Now that's not true. Now society is so advanced that children know more than anyone else, but there isn't much culture. Now everything is about money. And you won't help anyone if they don't pay you. The unity of community has been lost. Society is like a family. First we have to take care of our collective basic needs before individual needs. Unfortunately, the needs of the majority are usually ignored in society. As a result, there is poverty, corruption, crime and alienation. Cooperatives are a way to return to this family spirit, resulting in cooperation, responsibility and community prosperity. I'm the director of a center for community development. We are about two hours from Caracas. This region is very special with its own history and culture. The land is very fertile, with lots of vegetation, mountains, rivers and beaches. It's a very beautiful place. I really enjoy being here working with the people and children of the nearby villages. The people have their own psychology, of course, caused in great part by the history of slavery. They are quite passive and maintain their distance because of a very limited vision. They don't realize their potential, their worth. If the people had the opportunity to develop their potential, you would see that Barlovento is a very special place. Nosotros somos una familia productora de cacao desde hace muchas generaciones. De hecho, Barlovento es una zona productora de cacao desde la época de la colonia. Actualmente somos dueños o poseemos la... We are in fact a family that has produced cacao and chocolate for many generations. Barlovento is a region famous for the production of cacao since it was a Spanish colony. Now we are owners of some of the lands where our grandparents worked as slaves. The history of the cacao in Barlovento for the families is not something that we could call productive. It is not profitable to live from the raw cacao. The problem came when we tried to commercialize the product because we didn't have the capacity to sell outside the region. If we sell it to our neighbors, the price will be too expensive for them because they have what I want to sell to them. It's like taking sand to the beach. When I was an adolescent, I didn't think of staying here because I saw that there were no opportunities. But now there are opportunities because we are creating them. 
Thank God I have the opportunity to be able to study a career in the university. But when I was advancing in my studies of tourism, I realized that in fact Barlovento has opportunities. When one speaks of tourism here, it is thought of as sun and beach, not as alternatives. So what I did was to unite the traditional experience with my new academic training, which I brought in order to unite the production of cocoa with tourism. But the main objective of this was to be able to sell our product. Before we did not produce chocolate, we only sold the raw cocoa pellets. Primarily, the objective of the organization is not to work of only benefiting us as a family, but contributing for the development of our communities through community, civil and cooperative organizations. You can understand that cocoa is not just a seed. Cocoa is an entire culture. It is what identifies us. We know that to work in an organization demands an effort, demands hard work. For example, I am a son and I am a grandson. When we undertake some project, we are in an organization with a chain of command, but we are also inside a family. They motivate you so people work, associate and share in many ways to be able to have a better way of life. I came to this cooperative as just one more worker, only helping to cast nets out one day and bring them back in the next. It was very difficult because I never used to get up at 5 a.m., but then I had to, and after a while, I came to love it. And now, thankfully, I'm practically the captain of several boats. I know how to use nets, something I didn't know how to do before, but little by little other members taught me, and I learned how to use the nets and go out to sea. Before, I always did my job correctly, but I was only working for myself. Now with the cooperative, it is different, because you are linked to other members. A cooperative will not be successful if you have the mindset of eat today and go hungry tomorrow. Like when I was a security guard, it was a business run by one person. And you can see such a difference because one person tells you what to do. You do all of your work for that one person. So that is the difference with the cooperative. You work, we all work for everyone. There is no boss. There isn't one person that lives with the work done by the sweat of your brow. Here we have always focused on our community. I think the idea of cooperatism is great when a person has the ability to grasp what a cooperative is. I have always looked to the future, and this is the future. The foundation of the equality of human rights is that people do not exploit other people. We go from one to another, shoulder to shoulder. We operate with this concept of justice, of equality. It is precisely these values, these principles, that give sustainability to the cooperative model. We are cattle ranchers, but we are still lacking livestock. We also cultivate crops. We were born in Petare, a slum of Caracas. We are organized in a group. At the beginning we were 75 members, but there was no other facilitator and we were only 25 who arrived here at this farm. We have been here for more than one year and we are dedicated to this project. We had to leave the city because the country gives us job security and well-being for the family. In the city, one can find work only sometimes and cannot have a calm life. The social part is important because we have a great work here. 
we're not only thinking of the personal benefit, but also for the community. Cooperativism is what we are making. It is mutual help. It is fraternity. This is what we are practicing because it also helps us to grow as people and achieve spiritual growth with these cooperative principles. Es un estilo de vida completamente distinto a, en nuestro caso, al, al, al que estábamos acostumbrados. It is a completely different way of life to the one to which we are accustomed. But more than that, it's a philosophy to see the world with different eyes, to be interested in the collective, to be interested in grassroots development, the holistic development of your surroundings. This is a philosophy of life that completely transforms our culture of Venezuela. Bueno, cooperativa porque acuérdate que es un es una unión, ¿verdad? De de varios asociados. Why cooperatives? A cooperative is a union of members. It is a business, of course, because it operates just like any other business. But it is a cooperative because of the solidarity, the collaboration of the members. We started in the job training program of Misión Vuelven Caras. We took a year-long course in tourism and later a variety of other courses, such as cooking, bar attendant, restaurant management. And that's how we started the cooperative. At first, nothing was easy, like everything in life. We applied for a loan, and the next year the government gave it to us, and we bought this place. It has been a very difficult experience, because when we got together, we didn't know each other. But then we became friends through this project, and I think we have succeeded. Of course, we need many more things, but yes, we have worked. I think we will succeed, because everything in life is possible. Just begin the work with a lot of faith. Most of us never had a job before. Most of us were mothers. This has been a difficult challenge because many mothers never thought that they could be a part of a project of this magnitude. Today, this is a reality. While some cooperatives prosper, others struggle. It can be for many reasons, lack of training, corruption, or even poor public facilities. For example, these cooperative members depend on a bus to get to their work. But sometimes the bus doesn't come. Even when it does, workers have to walk at least two kilometers due to poor roads. We've asked for help from various institutions but haven't received an answer. We're practically working with our fingernails. We applied for a tractor because these lands are very big and we have only machete. The truth is, we have courage to face this huge challenge. See how beautiful this land is and this big house. This is the challenge and I believe that we will achieve it. There was misuse of funds by the board of directors. Our only truck cost $20,000. However, the bed of the truck cost much more than what was available and in better condition. More problems arose when the receipt went missing because $2,500 for the bed of the truck was way too much. I asked here in Rio Chico how much an alarm would cost. We decided that it would be more expensive here than in Valencia. Here it cost $100, but the invoice says they spent $350 and the alarm never worked. It is sad that we struggle so much and now that the government is supporting this, we can't get a loan and so the cooperative is failing. People see us shaking hands, embracing each other, everything appears fine. But really, we are stabbing each other behind the back. Very few want to work, all they want is the money. 
You do as much as you can, and I do my part so that it doesn't have to be like this. Ética y sin moral no puede haber no puede haber cooperativismo, entendiendo por por moral. Without ethics and morality, there cannot be cooperatives. By morality, we mean the values of solidarity and honesty. Without solidarity, honesty and responsibility, cooperatives cannot be successful. No pueden tener éxito. There was a setback because the first board of directors started off badly. I don't know if they were cheating us, but now we've asked a lawyer to investigate the embezzlement of $22,000. We did a series of jobs. We made a large quantity of clothes. They sold them and didn't let us know. At the very least, I started to think, I thought, if one person is doing all the work so that only the others benefit, it is not worth it to keep working. So we decided to get rid of the board of directors. Many people have stopped working because they don't live in this town. As a result of this, we didn't finish our contracts on time, so there's a lack of money, and there are mothers who need money. For them it's difficult because of transportation, because they must pay for it. So when we get a contract, we let them know and they come to work. Many of those who work here don't keep in mind that we have the resources, the sewing machines and homes, but they don't value that. And that makes me feel awful. We have to keep in mind how serious it is. We have to repay the loan. It wasn't just given to us. After all the struggle that we've had, we'll lose everything, and that can't happen. That's why I haven't left here, because imagine if this closed down, we would lose it. The challenge for me is to get the women to come together the way they should, so we can move forward. What causes the failure of cooperatives? Selfishness, lack of training, indifference, and materialism. The people only think of me, me, me. They don't feel that you have a cooperative, you have your own business, you have a service that's for you, for your community, and for your people. It is something that is yours, but it also belongs to the community. We have completed a research project to understand what are the problems and needs of cooperatives in Barro Vento. Some of the results show that 60% of the cooperative members have not had training in cooperatives, 30% have difficulties communicating with each other, 50% of co-ops are not yet providing a minimum wage because they reinvest all the income, the business is not going well, or they are just starting. We also found that there is little intercooperation among cooperatives. Those that are more stable are those in which the members provide part of the startup capital. Fundamentally, there are three values, or three elements, that cause the failure of cooperatives. The first is the lack of training in administration. The second is lack of empowerment, closely tied to good training. And the third element, which I believe is the most serious and most guilty, is how capitalism has caused so much individualism. In addition to research, the Institute provides cooperatives with consulting and training courses in how to develop good business plan, different ways to raise startup and expansion capital, 
how to improve teamwork and cooperation amongst the members, how to run an effective meeting, conflict resolution, putting into practice universal moral and spiritual values. For us it is crucial that our programs are exciting, stimulating and empowering. So we use discussion encounters with cooperativists, role plays and cooperative games. We are making illustrated training manuals so that even people with very little education can understand. Our mission is to empower participants, to raise their consciousness and self-esteem, to develop themselves holistically. We believe that economic democracy, based on cooperatives, will create a more sustainable future. It is a practical alternative to corporate capitalism. In the world, the process of participatory administration of community meeting is growing in a form that puts enterprises under other cultural concepts. I see in the shining eyes of the children the potential that they have. With love, Everything is possible. Without love, nothing happens. This is the truth, isn't it? Sometimes, some of my friends question, how can a cooperative work? I say it can, but you have to put your heart into it. You always need to look to the future and leave the past behind. 